you've done the education thing, you've got the good enough job, you are maybe even a leader at your church or a religious organization or community organization, you're volunteering and making a difference to a few, few people here. You're, you've obeyed all the rules, done everything they said to do in order to live a successful life. But you don't feel successful. You feel empty. You feel frustrated. You feel fed up. And it doesn't feel as if this, you don't even know really what to do in order to change things. Well, you kind of have an inkling. But the stuff you dream about doing, it seems too scary. It seems too out there. It seems risky. And so you keep living the same day, every single day. You've been doing the same day for the last 10 years or so. <laughs> I'll give or take a few years. The same day over and over and over again, kind of hoping somehow that you'll break through to something better without doing anything different. What are the chances, my love? What are the chances of that ever happening? I am Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in regaining your self-confidence, in leaving behind the, the, the pain and limiting beliefs of the past, in rising victorious in your true design life. Honey, surely you're done waiting for a, a miracle. You literally are the miracle. I did this, this whole thing that you're doing here. I, I did, I went, I, I shed blood and tears to get my education sorted out. I mean, I even changed country and came to this country and did my pharmacy and, and <laughs> worked full time in order to become a pharmacist so I could pay my own bills and everything and blah, blah, blah. It was tough. It was hard. And I really thought that when I become the pharmacist and the leader at church, and do all the stuff that they said to do that actually life would suddenly start making some good sense and I would I would make lots of money and I'd be I'd be able to live out all the things that I wanted to do. I'd be free. Yeah, right. <laughs> they sell us a lie. But the problem is that you've 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 invested so much in the lie, you don't even know how to break free of the lie. You you have inklings, you, you see people doing different things, but then when you come to actually you yourself doing it. It feels too risky. It feels too scary. It feels too, oh my God, but I have responsibilities. I have this and I have that. How can I do that? And, blah, 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 blah. and excuses, excuses, excuses. You're drinking more. You're eating more. You're dissatisfied with life. You're, 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 you, might, you might be that super spiritual person spending lots of time on your religious organization trying to drown out the voice inside of you that says, this is not my life. This is not the life I'm supposed to be living. But there's an emptiness. There's a frustration inside of you that you need to actually handle. You are, you're too powerful. You know, nobody can make that choice for you. The divine isn't going to force you to actually start living the life that you actually want to live. But one thing I know for sure is happening to you is this. Every single day that you don't say yes to your soul, to the things that you really deeply desire, is a day where you're telling yourself that you're not worthy. It's a day where you're telling yourself that you're not enough. It's a day where you're telling yourself to doubt yourself that you're not capable of doing what it is that you really are born and meant to do. But it's a lie. You are capable of it. If you have that dream, that vision inside of you, it is yours to create. I know you want to impact lots of people. I know you want to create a heck of a lot of wealth so that you can live free, maybe write those books that you keep dreaming about writing, do those things that you really dream of doing. But you're not, you don't have time. You're stressed out living a life that you don't even enjoy. But you're not doing anything different, so how is it ever going to change? You are kind of waiting for a miracle, but you are the miracle. You are literally the magic that is going to change everything. But you're scared. You have lost confidence because you just keep living the same boring day over and over and over and over again. Come on. I know you're afraid. I was afraid when I started doing something different. I was afraid. I've been trained to be an employee, okay? I've been trained to do all the, the lovely things I really want to do on the side in my spare time. But nobody tells you that your spare time disappears as you get older and you have more responsibilities. What's spare time? <laughs> I remember a friend accusing me, well, kind of accusing me of, of the fact that, oh, Rosemary, you've always been that person that wants to eat your cake and have it all at the same time. And, I'm, and, I, and I just thought, what? So what you expect me to do is settle for an average existence when I know I'm meant for something more? 
I ask you the same question. Is that your plan? To settle for an average existence when you know you're meant for something more? You need to understand this. No one is coming to save you. No one is the divine. You can pray and pray and pray, but until you move your feet and start doing something in the direction of the vision you carry inside of you, it will remain a dream. You are meant for something more. You can have your cake and eat it, but you have to have the courage to step onto your true design path and stay there until you create the life that you desire. You are created in the image and likeness of the divine. You have power within you that you haven't even begun to tap into. Wake up. You are the miracle. You are the magic. You are the one that is going to make the difference that you want to make. You are the one that needs to change direction. You are the one that has to do it. You're the one with all the choices. It's not enough to pray and beg and plead. It's you have to take action. Honey, I wrote a book. It's called The Confidence Book. It's to support you in regaining that innate knowing that you are capable of doing the things that you set your mind to do. Go get the book, my love. Okay, go and get the book right now. Read it, implement it, start building that, that encouragement, that courage inside of you again. And start taking action in the direction of your dreams, in the direction of the vision you carry inside of you. There is no mistake about you being on this planet. Wake up. Go get the book now. Until the next time, my love. Much amazing love. Share this with someone else. There's too many walking dead people. <laughs> it's time for us to wake up. The world needs us to wake up. It's time. Much love. Share this with someone else, okay? Go get the book.